I was hoping that we could talk about uh, full you, circle you, you with mean, you. You mean when I woke up one day and I, I was like anointed a cult leader? A cult that leader? About? Yeah, if that's okay, I'd like <laughs> to one. talk to you about that your one. cult. 10 Things I Hate About You actor Andrew Keegan responds to claims that he's in a cult. On the February 12th episode of the Pod Meets World podcast, Andrew chats with hosts and Boy Meets World alums Danielle Fischel, Ryder Strong, and Wilfred L. Andrew, who made an appearance on Boy Meets World back in the day, gets candid after his longtime friend Danielle asks about his spiritual group, Full Circle. Are you a cult leader? So in 2000. 13. I moved to Venice early tw- like in my early 20s and just really got immersed in the culture and the, the community. So I was connected with some folks and we had this opportunity. There was this the old Hare Krishna temple, which I remember when it was the Hare Krishna temple. That's a whole, you know, other story. And it was sitting there empty. And we're like, yo, why don't we just get some people together and like, let's open this place up. I was like, let's get it together. and Let's do some positive things for the community. Andrew says he was dropping some serious dough on the group in the early days. Looking back was insane. I was putting down thousands and tens of thousands of dollars. And, but we opened it up and we spent three years and really did build an amazing uh, friend group. We went through something really significant from 14 to 17. Keegan says rumors the organization was a cult started after a reporter wrote an article about it in 2014. They came in and, you know, I probably should have had a little bit more media training at the time. And I was just like, yeah, like everything's great. There's all these wild things going on. Sacred. And so they just really created a very interesting, colorful story and put, you know, put it together. And so I think that's ultimately, but we, we really just got together and like we did a, you know, we did a Sunday thing and we did, I think almost a thousand events in three years. And it was actually really hard and it, it, it was really beneficial to a lot of people. And Danielle herself isn't convinced the group was up to anything nefarious. It sounds much more like a group of people at Burning Man more than a group of people at like in Heaven's Gate. <laughs> like it- yeah. In the end, Andrew now sees the cult allegation as a unique milestone of sorts. I look back at it now, I'm like, I don't know anybody else that's being called a cult leader, so it's kind of like a badge of honor. It's like, yeah, well, no one's calling you a cult leader. Okay. (laughs)